Is there anything that you regret with raising me? Yes, I do. I, I wish I would have been more uh, careful about your feelings. Because I don't know growing up if you were happy. Okay, so the first question is, are you surprised with where I've ended up in my life? Uh, actually, no. Because I've seen you, um, your drive and determination growing up ever since you were a little boy. Do you know how young you started seeing that? or? Um, you know, when you were in preschool, your teacher told me you were about four, that you were different that you were accomplishing your tasks faster than most kids. And they see you as being a very responsible kid as a young boy. And so did you do anything differently when you realized? I tried. I put you in a school, but, I did, but then I kept observing your progress and I figured, I think this boy needs a better school and education. So I looked for a better school for you. Did you ever think that I was on the wrong path growing up? No, absolutely not. Was there any decisions along the way that you thought? I thought that he was going to go do something else, maybe something unexpected? No. So everything was just <laughs> Yes, expected? yes. This next question is, out of the things that I've done or accomplished, what are you most proud of? I am most proud of honestly how you become a good person a good man gentleman and loving son and brother and friend well thank you is there anything else that you're proud of specifically i'm proud of how we didn't need to guide you much um, application for college going through college and your career you pretty much did it on your own is that something that you expected uh, not really, because you were the eldest son, and I wasn't expecting it to be this easy, that easy. I see. So I was an easy child. Yes, very easy. <laughs> so what would you say is the most difficult part of raising me? Most difficult part was when you got sick. So that was very recently? Yes. So nothing growing up that was the easy part? Nothing. So what about me getting sick was hard? It was hard because it was beyond your control and our control. That's why it was very unpredictable. Yeah, it was tough. There wasn't yes. really anything that we could Yes, we could that's do. why it was tough. I think the first time you flew right over in a red eye. Yes. Was that just you had to? No, well, I wanted to be there. Whatever happens, I wanted to be there. Were you scared? Yes. Why? Because, like I said, it was the unpredictability of what's going to happen to you. How did you feel when I first said that I wanted to do aerospace engineering? Um, I wanted to really support you. I knew you will be on the engineering path because you're very analytical. So I'm all for it. I was all for it. Did you think I was going to do a different engineering? I was thinking more of, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe computer science, computer engineering. Yes, computer, computer science, more on programming side. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I was doing a lot of like programming yes, projects and yes. stuff like that. It wasn't a surprise that you went into aerospace engineering because your grandpa was mm -hmm. an aerospace engineer. Yeah, so I got exposed to both, I think, from you, like more the computer, and then from him, the more aerospace. And then yes. it was just really deciding. I think at the time I just wanted to do something difficult uh, just to challenge me and push me a little bit, especially at MIT. And yes. so that's, that's what I did. Do you have any specific moment when, I, when you realized that I started having interest in engineering or science or something like that? I knew from childhood that you were good in math and analytics. So I figured, okay, at first, I was thinking, oh, maybe he would be in the medical field because of his cousins and family. But um, no, engineering was perfect path for you. Yeah, I think I considered medical, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like the side of blood. 
Yes. And then I started passing out every time I saw blood. That's and how I, I was. It. So at that point, <laughs> this is something that I cannot do. Yes, yes, I understand. Did you have any challenges when raising me? It's, it's, you won't believe me, but I had no issues or challenges whatsoever. The only challenge was to make sure you were always occupied and you were not bored. And we, we wanted to provide you everything that you needed. I wanted to support you, but it seems like you were always a step ahead of us. So I don't think there were challenges except for the scheduling of your activities. But th those we were happy to do. But I know that you had to like drive really far for work and there were challenges associated with that. Can you talk about those? Yes, there were times when I had to drop you off really early with your brother who, is, who was three and a half years younger than you. You had to take care of your brother in school early. And I had to struggle going through traffic an hour or so to pick you up. But those were what parents did. And at that time, everybody was working on site. And no, I had no complaints. So you just thought it was normal, I guess. Yes, it was just normal. And I was happy to do it because I was happy to see you guys excited whenever I pick you up. This next question is about like my dreams or your dreams specifically, I guess. With me, did you have any particular dreams of what I would become? Or were you just excited to see what would happen? I am pretty much more excited about what will happen to you because I know whatever you do, you'll do great. So I'm just excited. I don't even want to know now. I just want to go through your with your life one at a time. So it's never something that you try to predict? I know definitely that you will be very, very successful in your family life and career-wise because you have done the best decisions, better than my decisions, most of your life, and you have a good character. So that's what I know. Well, I'll try. I mean, I think everything that I do is just whatever makes me happy in any moment, and that's why sometimes on the outside it seems like I'm just jumping around, but I'm just trying to align. I guess. No, I think bottom line is you're a very smart person with a good heart. That's the bottom line. Yeah. So that's why you will do great. Yeah, I think so. How do you think our family dynamic influenced the decisions that I made? I think you're, you were, you, you're able to understand the sacrifices that your parents have done for you. Your cousins, we have a good family and friends, and you have a great dad. I think in making your decisions, you always consider those aspects. So you're not only making decisions for yourself, but you're making a decision for everybody. Yeah, I think it goes back to that, the last question, just making sure that everything makes me happy um, in all of my decisions. And then the family is a big thing that makes me happy. So it just almost goes hand in hand with any decision that I make. And I don't really think about it at the time that I'm thinking about all these things. It's just I align towards the things that allow me to do everything else. So that goes back to you having a good heart, being a really, really good person because you're not only interested in the success career-wise, but you're thinking everything as a whole. What makes you happy? What makes your family and friends happy? And that makes sense. I think, I guess I've never fully thought about it like that, but it makes sense. What do you think is the most important trait or skill that I've developed over time? Drive. That's the most important. You have the drive to do what you think should be accomplished and you're a leader. How so? You have the ability to lead and guide anybody. And being a leader is about making sure that everybody's okay. And at the same time, they will follow your guidance. And I think that's something that also I haven't fully thought about, but it more comes natural with me just doing whatever that I want to make me happy and then having a good heart with it. And then I think people realize that my intentions are good. And so everyone's willing to follow me in whatever I do. Because they trust you. Yeah. And I think it's also because I'm vulnerable back and I give trust immediately. I think I trust by default. And then they see that and then they want to put their trust in me as a result. Yeah, I think everything's just come naturally after that. And people want to follow me and hopefully I just do a good job so that I don't let them down, really. Because also they feel that you have very, very clean intention. Mm -hmm. And I do. And I try to show that. And I think it's because I care a lot about what other people feel 
And yeah. so everything that I do is just making sure that everybody in the room is comfortable, basically. Yes. So there's only one last question. And this one, I don't even know if there's an answer, but it's, is there anything that you regret with raising me? Yes, I do. I, I wish I would have been more uh, careful about your feelings. Why? Like, how so? See? <laughs> I don't want to... Oh. Don't take this out, okay? <laughs> how so? Because I don't know growing up if you were happy. Because as a mom, my biggest accomplishment in life is to make sure you and your brother are happy. That's but why it. didn't you know? Because there were instances that I felt I made you unhappy. And I think, you know, the reason why. Yeah. I think also it was hard for me because I just wanted to keep succeeding to make everybody else happy. Mm -hmm. And there's a line because I could bottle everything up and just keep trucking along. But then sometimes it's unfair because nobody knows what I'm actually feeling at any point. And so I have to share some, but then I know some of that stuff is hard and then it might make other people upset, but I have to. You have to. And how will people know if you don't say anything? Yeah, that makes But sense. in general, I think, um, I think I've done a good job yeah. with you and your brother. You did a great job. I think I was saying that I don't know if you had an answer to this question because I don't know if there was anything to regret because everything turned out so great. Yes, maybe I'm just a perfectionist. I'm like you, I'm a people pleaser. I like everybody to be okay. That's, that's all the questions I'm going to ask. I don't want to make you cry anymore. Uh, no, but... it's just, this is a cry of happiness. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything did turn out great. Yep, yep. But thanks for talking to me today about this and for being vulnerable. I, it does take a lot of strength to do this. And uh, yeah, maybe we can do it again sometime. Okay, thank you, KJ.